All right, so we are going to learn how to do the shortcut method because it takes way too freaking long uh, to find an electron configuration when you have to go step by step starting from number one. So there's a shortcut that I'm going to show you where we can cut across a lot of this mess. Now to do that, I am going to pick an element that I know a lot of folks had some trouble with. Um, the element we are going to pick is going to be down here on the bottom. We're going to go with uh, neodymium, element number 60. So this is the element that we're going to go with. To do that, we are going to use a shortcut. I call it the shortcut method all the time, uh, but it's got a lot of different names. Um, the shortcut method. Mm, doggone it. Let me get my pen right. There we go. Mm. Aha. There we go, shortcut method. Um, you'll hear some people calling this the group 18 method. Some folks call this uh, the noble gas notation. Uh, there's a lot of different names for this. Um, you'll always hear me refer to it as a shortcut. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in group 18. But here's the idea, right? If I wanna write the electron configuration for neodymium, normally I've been telling you, you gotta start all the way up here at hydrogen. You start as that is 1s, there's another 1s, and that's 1s2, now the next is 2s2, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna take us forever. So on the shortcut method, what you're able to do is you're able to go, um, you're able to start by writing down the closest <laughs> closest, there we go, <laughs> but lower group 18 element. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the closest but lower than 60 group 18 element that we can find. So where's group 18? Well, if you notice, the groups are up here on the top. And group 18 is column number 18. So we need to find the element that is closest but still lower than 60, right? Our neodymium is element number 60. So we look down here, 2 is lower, 10 is lower, 18 is lower, 36 is lower, but none of those is closer than element number 54. We can't use 86 because it's higher. The next one we can do is element number 84. Uh, excuse me, 54, 54. So what we're going to do to, uh, to show that, uh, by the way, I'm going to write down here which element we're looking at. It's element neodymium. It's element number 60. To do this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write down xenon. We're going to write down Xe. And I am also going to write down its number, element number 54, right there. Because what I am going to do is I am going to use xenon as 54 electrons, we are going to jump from element number one, where we used to start, all the way down. We can start this one with element number 54. That's pretty awesome. So we this includes 54 electrons out of our 60. We now only have six electrons that we're going to have to deal with that we're going to write down the shortcut for. That's pretty neat, right? Great shortcut. So after element number 54, right? we got check. We're all the way up to element number 54. The next element is 55, right? That happens to be cesium. Don't really care about the name, but it is element number 55. And it is in the S block, right? This whole block in here is called the S block. So therefore, cesium is in the S block. It is in the sixth row. So in the S block, the sixth row is 6S, right? Because row one starts with one, row two is 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, etc. How many 6s elements are there? Well, there's one and two, cesium and barium. Barium, I hardly know them. Ha ha. 6s2. After 56 comes what element? 57. 57 is lanthanum. Good old lanthanum here. So lanthanum is now in which block is this one down here? This is the, you got it, this is the F block. All right, so we need to know what element goes in front of F. I'm going to show you this one down here in the in the in the thing. Uh, if you always remember S P D F, hmm? S starts with one S, P starts with two P, 
D starts with 3D and F starts with 4F. So the first line in the F block is 4F. Just came up with that recently. So this is the 4F line. And how many 4Fs are there? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that gets us to neodymium. So we stop there at 4. If I did this right, I should be able to add up all the electrons on this side, and they'll equal all the electrons on that side. And that would be 54 plus 2 plus 4 is 60. I forgot to write what step number two is. Step number two is alpha-bow. Starting with the next element. So once we had picked element number 54, we started our alpha-bow with element number 55. And that's how you do this. Start getting used to using this table instead of the one that you've written all over. Right? The idea is to move away from that one because on your test you're going to see a version of this. Right? You're not going to see a version, the version that you wrote on.